Welcome back to the basement, the friendliest place on YouTube, but the tiles aren't so friendly. No, they're not. Ah, I'm Ted, and I'm, we're, we're playing Link's, the, uh, Link's Awakening, of course. Yeah, and I'm Peter, and those see. tiles are rather vicious, but here we are in... Uh, ooh, that thing sucks. <laughs> sure does. Ah! <laughs> I killed it, though. <laughs> we just need to kill all the enemies. You killed it, and it killed you, but it stayed dead, and you are fine. That's how it goes when you're Link. <laughs> I can't think of a way to rhyme. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, ah, guardians. <laughs> they are kind of guardians. Ooh, check out this cool place. That is pretty cool. I like the light. Oh, you know what I'd love to do? Is What's light that? these on fire. But somebody sneezed out all of our magic powder. What can I Peter? say? Link is allergic to stuff. It's not my fault. Okay, here we go. It's boss time. I'm gonna take your oh, oh, the I face. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. Mom's spaghetti. What would have happened if you had to let those? T oh. <gasps> okay. Hey, dummy. Need a hint? My weak <laughs> point is. Whoops! There I go talking too much again. <laughs> Facade. So, um, I'm guessing his weak point is his mouth, then. <laughs> Since he was talking yeah. too much. My weak point is I'm always telling people my weak point with my weak point. It's the only thing that tells people things. You are just getting handled. This is vicious. I'm glad he can't move. If he could move around and you could, like, fall into his mouth hole... That would be terrifying. So he opens up holes underneath in the ground, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's so. Cool... Remember when I was saying that I've seen this guy before on a uh, certain children's channel? Yeah. When I was like ten or twelve, Nickelodeon had this thing in between uh, like commercial breaks or like before and after the commercial break, and his name was Face. Huh. And he was just a face on a colored screen, and he'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. "Oh, now it's time to start the show." <laughs> oh! And it looked a lot like this guy. Was it creepy? No. Okay, he listen was up. he was wacky and pretty corny. The windfish wakes if up. The wind everything on the side will be gone forever. It'll be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Yeah, but ah! do you mean everything? Wait, everything? Has there ever been a video game where once you beat it, you couldn't play it anymore? Ooh. There's got to be a video game somewhere that once you play it, you can never play it again. Super Mega Ultra Hardcore. <laughs> once yeah, you like die, you only get one the game just self-destructs. <laughs> then you got to pay $60 to try again. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Coral Triangle. Coral! <laughs> Jokes. Luck luckily for you, the music wasn't really good here. Walking Dead jokes. It just goes. Well, it sounds like I didn't m really miss out. No, it was yeah. You were you. I I think I did better than that instrument did. Mountain. Hey, I there think it's all, are some, something uh, calls from the mountains. Friends of ours. You remember uh, good old Dave and Brittany? Yeah. How their doing? their sons are into the NES classic right now. Hey, good job with the oh, face shrine, Ted. Awesome. Yeah, thanks. Uh -huh. Beat it. Boria, am I right? Oot. Many monsters of the island feel the windfish is about to wait and go to the mountain tower, fly like a bird. Hoot hoot. hoot. And uh one of the boys recently finished uh the Kirby NES game. Oh man. What's that called? Such Kirby's Adventure. Game. Yeah. And uh, he cried because he thought he wasn't going to get to play I'm it anymore. Rumbo. Oh, because he finished it. Yeah, See, and I was like, guess that's what? what happened you get to, to me, play kinda. it again if you want. But now you have to play it upside down. <laughs> now he could just play one of the other 30 games on the NES I'm Classic. I'm pretty sure we've got everything we need to go to the next spot, which is up here. Ooh. Ooh I just realized they kind of highlighted this for us. Wait, do we have, where are we at with our chain of side quests? 
Our side quests were done. We Do did we, it all. What is the end result of the side quest? We got a the magnifying lens, a strange glass that shows things you couldn't see before. In Ocarina of Time, this was the eye of truth. <laughs> but this the lens of truth. Yeah, the lens of truth. But this I remember uh, that. But this game was way before that. So like this is totally the precursor to that. Um Let's go ahead and I'm the Mambo. I should have I'm the Mamboed. I love that song. But instead I pushed stop. Let's go to Dompe's shack. I'm the Mambo. <laughs> Remember when I called it Manbo? <laughs> I'm the Manbo. <laughs> and I'm his wife, Womanbo. <laughs> Whoa, Manbo. Bo could be a girl's name. It's true. Or a boy's name. Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I didn't want to do that. I'm remembering. Before we go this way, we got to do something. Otherwise, you're going to run into a dead end. Otherwise, you're going to run into a dead end. I'm gl I see your knowledge, man. This game okay. is a lot of wandering and trial and error if uh, you're playing it blind. I wonder if there are any pure blind playthroughs of this game on the internet. There must be, but... Whew. That would take a oh, long this is time. A fun, this is a fun part. This is going to be a fun thing to do. Oh, man. That hook shot is so great for traveling quickly. It really is. Koholint. Koholint Prairie. Ooh, and there's Koholint Prairie Dogs. Woof. I'm very yeah. pleased. They're I thought those super were zombies. Zombie -ish. They, they're basically zombies. What's up, We need to go zombie. to this, see this area down here that we haven't been in before? That's where we need yep. to go. Oh, yeah, we haven't been there before. Wow. That's kind of right in the thick of the early part of the game. Right. It's uh, it's not very far away. It's far away. You know, uh, uh, between our last recording session and this one, my wife and I listened to both So Far Away songs. <laughs> so far away. Yeah, so there's that one, away. and there's the other one, and they're by Fuel and Stained. <laughs> Remember Stained? S T A I N D. Yes. <laughs> the only worst band name like that. Remember when it was cool to just like spell a word wrong? Yeah. Okay, like, check trapped. this out. <laughs> start the here. The sign says start here, go, go this, this way. way. But if you look around, there are tons of signs in this area. Oh, fun! You have to hit the exact sign that is on that spot. Otherwise, it starts you all over again. Oh, like so if I'm, you if you talk to the, if you read the wrong one. Right. Then they all go blank or something. Yep, so I'm gonna do myself a favor here and just kind of clear some of the stuff out of the way. Do your selfie fever. Okay, so we talked to that one. This one's next. Go this way. Okay. This was a lot harder to do in the Game Boy because every time you walked, this was actually four quadrants. Okay. And every time you walked into one of the quadrant, the whole screen would shift. Oh, so you really had to be thinking about like your coordinate kind of. Right. Yikes. Do, 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 and also, do, if you do, try to read the do, same do, sign do, twice, do, you lose. So do, we got to remember. Do. Oh, that would be easy here. to do accidentally. But yeah, this was this was legit hard. I bet. On the Game Boy. Yeah, with like right. actual like the screen scroll concept. Like yep. the original. That would make it a lot more challenging. And and therefore a lot more rewarding once you got it. Go this way. This one I screwed up on a few times, and it's very close to the end. Because these two signs are so close together. Ah uh, yeah. It's like, ah, uh, you start all the way over. This way. Okay, this one. I can tell that, like, this is important to you because you've definitely, like, you've taken some precautions. Yeah, like, you when see you're how walking, I, like, you go and, like, around and then reset. Up. Yeah. <laughs> this is also dangerous. Because you could accidentally you make read sure a you... song or read a sign. Yeah, you read the one on the right. It's like, ah, oh. oh, dang it. Great, Great, you, you did, did it. it. Your reward is this way. Ooh, 
it's like Dungeons the Seventh Labyrinth in the original. Yeah. When so you... I didn't have to blow a flute to get in, but I do need to learn a song for the flute inside. Check this guy out. Recognize him? Mm, Larry Cucumber. He's a big giant crocodile. Gross. He's he's a little blown out on your camera, I can see. Is he King K. Rule? Mamu. Ooh, it got dark and easier to look at. I darkened it for you. Thank you. For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. Did it darken so this guy makes, for makes you music. too, or is it just through the zoom? No, I just uh, I darkened my uh, camera oh. for you. I can darken it even more if you want. Thanks, bro. Check this out. Uh, Boom. Yeah, I liked it before. In that middle okay. spot. We'll do, we'll do just like that. Okay. This op episode of The Basement brought to you by Zoom. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you got to have 300 rupees to do this. Fine. But this is essential for the next part of the game. Oh, you know who it looks like is Wart. That's what I was thinking you were thinking of. Oh, I like the little frogs on the side. <laughs> so the music is intentionally really bad here. I am I am Mr. Lucky for not being able to hear it right now. They're singing like da 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 and then the other frog is singing a half step up from that, and the other so frog is singing a half step down. Oh. And they're doing it in a round. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited for you to hear it uh, after the video is edited. <laughs> That's awful. And then it says, you've learned the frog frog's song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It could even liven up unliving things. Hmm, that sounds like if a you clue. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. I feel like they could have said, ugh, that song could wake the dead. <laughs> you know what I else? I think it's probably what they were going for. <laughs> you know what makes you feel alive is pain. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to feel alive. <laughs> well, I, I wanted mean, to destroy something beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's a sad scene in that movie, that non-family friendly club. movie. Oh yeah, um, F -f 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 Fox and Hound. Club. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just right, say the so first rule about Fox and Hound is you don't <laughs> talk about Fox and Hound. <laughs> Oh man, this butterfly makes me want to catch it because the blue butterflies in Animal Crossing are yeah. emperor butterflies and they're worth 4,000 bells. Wait, what? Yeah. Dude, but, you got to share some more Animal Crossing tips with me because I've been logging the, uh, on every day and earning my miles and making progress, but I feel but like the, there's so much I don't know. But the blue, blue butterfly, the emperor butterflies are out of season now because it's at, in April. Oh. Okay. So this sign says, here sleeps the flying rooster. We haven't really checked this sign much at all, but now that we have the power bracelet, we can push this thing aside. Ooh. And go down inside. What will we find? <sighs> Some bones. <laughs> it's a dead fairy. Oop, wrong song. <laughs> I'm the manbo. <laughs> I'm the manbo. <laughs> All right, let's play the song that wakes up dead things. Ribbit. I played it way better. Than the frogs sang it? Whoa, snap. It's a ghosty ghost. It's a Japanese ghost. At least it's not a hand coming out of a toilet. Like some Zelda games have. <laughs> you got the rooster. Wow, this rooster has recovered. He seems very friendly. Well, he ought to be. Check this out. If I hold this rooster... <gasps> I can fly. Dude. Well, he owes Link big time. It only makes and he sense. also follows me around, which is pretty awesome. Oh, we got a It's like, um, what are those called in uh, Symphony of the Night to follow you around? All oh, those spirits? Yeah. Or the cards? Yeah. Um, I'm All right, going Ted, to well, we got more warp. to do, but we're going to have to do it next time in the basement. 